wrap up with just showing you a couple of pictures here. You know, the bottom is Mi Familia. In the center, I have uh, one <laughs> from my teaching days in elementary. But uh, up top, just met with these gals uh, two weeks ago. They're, you know, this is my claim to fame, right? So they're my, this was the last year I taught. It was my best year that I taught. And man, they got the best of me every day. I was excellent every day. I, I forgave myself for nothing. Uh, and yeah, I was grading as soon as you gave me the homework. I was grading it. If I could get one in here, as so I'll take an attendance grading, you know, you know, in between bells grading. You know, if I saw them in the hallway, hey, take it back. You got to fix X, Y, and Z. That's excellence in instruction. You know, when I got stuck, you know, I got tired of my kids failing my own test that I taught with passion. Um, I went to, a net, to, you know, a teacher that was well known for being very effective. She asked me, after I explained to her everything that I did, she says, Carlos, how long do you speak before you let your students speak? I thought I was being cool. About eight to, eight to 10 minutes. She's like, oh. Carlos, two minutes. Shut the hell up. Check for understanding. <laughs> Changed everything. Everything. That's excellence in instruction. That's what it takes. I had this kid. He was probably special ed. I don't know. I never received any paperwork an IEP or anything like that. And I was too stupid to, to ask. But I would meet this kid after school every day. And every day I was repeating the same things. I was banging on the table, frustrated. Fucking frustrated. I wanted to kick his ass. When I left, he found me before I left and he said, you're the first teacher I ever understood. That's excellence in instruction. That's all it takes. Give a fuck about the job you do. <laughs>